So, hi there everyone, welcome to a kind of new Satisfactory series on the channel. Um, if you don't know my name, my name's Leon, I'm the one looking after you. This is a game that I've covered now for a couple of years on and off, various builds. But this is a build I started back in, in the start of January on the Team Reg server that we've got going. So this is not running on my machine, this is running on a server and for members of the Team Reg community, if they want to come and join in, they can. At the moment it's mostly been myself, I know WT has been injured and hopefully once he's fit he'll come and join us again. There's definitely something around here. Just don't know where he is. But yeah, so this, yeah, I want to kind of give you an update. We've been sh also streaming this as part of uh, United Gaming Network 24 hour streams. Um, I, I stream on a Monday, 3 o'clock UK time. So we've been doing this and building parts of it. But yeah, so we kind of got to some kind of crucial points in it at the moment. And I've started to kind of, as you can see, you know, put walls and everything in place in lots of different areas. So I've got a lot, as you can see, a lot more to do around this area over here. But yeah, I'm going to take you around and show you some of the bits we've done so far. The first thing I'm going to do I'm going to get over to our aluminium factory. I'll show you that one. So, welcome to what's become the kind of the main entrance of the building. I've still got some signs and up to do, but I need to bring some more materials over. This is all; these are all still not fully complete. I mean, the bridges still need to be all completed as well. But in here, we have our aluminium factory. This is just a kind of container for me to store bits and pieces. You know, as I said, you know, whether I'm going around so I mean that can go in there. And all this. Now we've got nine alumina refineries. So we've got eight for the aluminium plant and one for the battery plant. Um Oxite and that's coming in up there. They're all processed down this side, so we'll go down the aluminium side first. Can't get rid of some bits, but act a little bit of greenery in the thing. So, yeah, alum alumina is processed. This side, the silica goes into this chain of all of these machines making silica for the, for the plant, and then any overflow, as you can see, goes off and gets sunk. Um, so the, the alumina there is processed here into aluminium scraps which then head off down these belts I'm quite chuffed with the way this plant's worked out you can see it's being processed into aluminium bars here some copper, a small copper plant over there. You need that to make the alclad sheeting. And that's what all these machines are for. So you've got these ones making casings, which are probably going off to be sunk. Everything's full. And then you've got all of these making alclad sheeting, which again is being sunk, because at the moment there's nothing to actually particularly using them at the moment. Uh, batteries are about to start going, production is about to start going up on those. The battery plant oh, well, I managed to get myself into a place and stuff. So as I said, these end lines. That one needs to be. Um, yeah, let's get these working. 
So we got th so at least the N3 are making sulfuric acid. You can see we've got a tank of sulfuric acid, tank of alumina. And then you've got these making batteries here as well. Now this is again not really using batteries at the moment, but they're soon going to come into use with one of the projects I'm working on at the moment. But yeah, I'm quite chuffed with the way this has all come out. I've got it dressed up now as well, so it's starting to look a bit more the part. A few glitches here and there. But yeah, on the whole, got to be happy with the way this is all working. And this is commute across the main base. I'm going to go across there and kind of show you a couple of bits over there. I'm not going to go into it in too much depth though. So welcome into our main base. Um, as you can see, it is quite a large area. Five train stations, only two in use at the moment. This one's bringing, or this one's mainly for oil. This one is bringing in um, some materials for processing. As you can see, we have a chart up here so we know what's coming in on what carriage. Oh, there's a train. There's a small oil train. And I like the way these doors work as well. There you go, watch people come up and watch. We get out of the way. There you go, it's actually two trains coming in. Doors open to allow the trains in. and they'll open when they come out as well. Now all the trains go in, actually we should catch this one. Could come in and then go down the side, round, and then come into the respective bay. And it's one of the reasons I actually redid I started this save is because the way we had it in the last one we were doing, which we kind of which we were doing at New Year was we hit a problem where trains just didn't want to work. So you can see this one queues up. So this one goes out. The next one queues up in behind. And it comes in. So as I said, we've got the small one that does it's got like the front part of the station. Back one's goes and there you go, there goes our thing, our one way let's go. We have got Go down this side because this one's a bit more complete. As I said, still got three stations to bring into line. Still need to hook up to the floor above. Floor above is just for sorting. I do like this. A lot of glass, as you can see. So we have three storage areas in this one. Oh, we've got our little displays. So we got on the ground floor down both sides. We've got kind of like the lot of the base materials, so cement and things like that. You've got motors and things like that on the other side, and then on the back wall, in that kind of glass area, kind of up on the first level, we have um, more advanced materials, so things like high-speed connectors, AI limiters and things like that, uh, crystal um, capacitors and things like that, so all kind of the advanced stuff is being made and going up there. Four staircases so far in the building. I'll just come up here. This is the only battery room I've got set up so far. There was also a rubbish room there before, but I got rid of it. We've got some, bits, some switch room stuff, which I can show you this by sneaking up this one because I haven't actually put this floor in yet. This is like sort of all our sorting floor. And then on the next level up, oh sorry, two levels up.
think that's an adjust that's the sorting floor. Up here we have some of the more advanced production systems. And as you can see they're on a decent scale as well. So this is making heavy frames. And we've also got, as I said, quick silver, quick wire production. Um, AI limiters. Quartz being processed up here. Of course we're using empty silica. High speed connectors. And all sorts of bits and pieces up here. But as I said, that's, that's in the most high tech. I'm kind of trying to make sure each line is complete. So, it, for example, there in here you'll see we literally go from raw materials into um, the higher spec to the, the heavy duty frames. The reason for that is, I just said I want to make sure everything I know what's going on with each production line. So I'm not I'm not overtaxing. So it means the base materials as we make them. It's only once we get to the more advanced stuff that I start combining things. Right, so if we come down the stairs, it takes us to the battery room. It takes us back to the ground floor. But, we've also got another floor below. This is quite a high floor and this is where a lot of the the base production is happening so uh, computers um, as you can see this one's making cable this is making cable actually for the computer setup this is backup storage and again over there you, know, you can literally see everything coming in and if it's not needed it's fed into this waistline and all this wire for again for this that's the wire being the copper being turned into wire for the cable line ramps so how do I know what I keep a track of what I, I've got to keep doing well we've got this this is my notes board WT started doing it in our last save and I've kind of been doing it um, this in there and you know moving things around a lot of the ones in this first column were from my first run but now it, it's it's a case of things get moved around there are no particular order so I mean like to this thing so the nuclear power plant radioactive storage is kind of like combined and this will be when we get to the kind of that level which we're not at yet um this is also a bit coming together. This takes you from one side of the base to the other. Because of the size of it, we've got our little our kind of our little workroom here. Points thing, because it's in we've got point tickets galore. And I'm gonna quickly show you where what I'm working on next. So this is one of the bits I'm kind of working on at the moment is, is ignore the fact there's just that one machine sat there is it's the start of my nuclear plant um, building over here because of the water supply um, but we are going to be bringing in pretty much all of the materials by drone so the, the I think it's three parts you need so will all be made somewhere else and then ferried to here and we're actually going to be building them in an area where we're quite familiar with. I'm just going to put the train line over to it at the moment, which is one of the projects I've got to work on um, at some point. But yeah, that's the next thing. It's more power, because at the moment, power is my nemesis. Always is in this game. See, so we're generating about 
9 gig, 9 gigawatts, 8.7 gigawatts, using 6.8. So we've got about 2 gigawatt, one and a half, two gig space at the moment. But if we have everything turned on, we use about 13 gig. This setup will generate another 15 gig water power. Um, but it's only going to be the first of the setups we do. I'm going to have nuclear power placings around all of the plate, but I, I don't want to go too big too soon because until we actually start processing the waste and getting rid of it, it's going to generate quite a lot. So I've got to build a storage facility for the waste, as you saw from my list. But yeah, that's kind of a bit of my... We've still got our coal power plants. I haven't seen them take them out yet. They do a job, generate a little bit of power. I mean, you can see the scale of the main base. And I said the other base is over. I don't think you can see it from here. It's kind of over on the other side of that cliffs there. But yeah, it's... I mean, I love it. It's a lot of fun. And... I've enjoyed doing this so far, but it's in is it working? I am working to a bit of a plan. If people want to come and join in with it, you know, don't be afraid to message me on Twitter, um, and we can you know, certainly discuss, you know, what how how we're done. I've kind of got a, a sit there a bit of a plan. I want to get all this boxed in. Maybe in the next update video we'll have it done. It's in there, and then I want to get all these bridges and all this sort of stuff done. Yeah. Lots of work to do. I've said this. I've got. I've got. I've even got the first wall done. Oh, actually, I've got one of the bit. One of the bit walls started on this one. It's just to get it all. Still got plenty of space to add other bits around here if I need to. There's holes in walls in places just so I can get in and up to and to from things. We'll actually get rid of that gap. That was when I was doing a, another job. Yeah, it's been it. I, I love it. This game is amazing, and you know, I absolutely you know, can't wait to see how this ends up. This is going to be quite a big scale thing, and as I said, we've got I've got plans to get more and more power added into it over time. So I just want to get the six up and running to start with. Um, and we'll see where it goes from there. If we can, if we can eventually add more into it, great. If we can't, so be it. Um, but it's in the, the this that the idea is to run that off one uranium node. Oh, but yeah, lots of jobs to be done. I will hopefully see you all in another video. I said this. I love this game. If you want to see more of it, if you want to see. Bits and pieces. I said stream Monday, Monday afternoons, 3 p.m. UK time on the United Gaming Network channel. I will put a link to the stream. It's now been going at the time of recording 27 days um, continuous. And that's the thing. So I said I'm Monday, 3 o'clock. Lots of different games being streamed um, by lots of different people all over the world. Um, so yeah, it's, it's definitely fun. But it is, I'm doing that. I hope to bring up more of these update videos if you like them. And if you want to take part, let me know. And listen is, hopefully we'll see some of you in-game very soon. Until then, stay safe. I'll speak to you again. Bye-bye for now.